let me teach you one more thing. Apart from that function, we call it uh, absolute, absolute reference. In Excel, Excel, we have uh, three types of uh, references, three types of reference. I'm only going to talk about two, which is more, because the third one is a mix of, one is called relative. Relative, relative cell reference. The second one is called absolute cell reference. And the third one is called mixed cell reference. What does it mean? It means that this one is the mix up of these two. So now the relative cell reference, okay, is something like this. Okay, so let's say that we have some value here. Call it, uh, maybe call it uh, quantity, and then we call unit price, and then we have total. Okay, so quantity. Let's say you you are buying a five apple. You buy one at. Uh, uh, I don't know how much they sell over there. Let's say 350 rand. Okay. You buy in a six mango. Each of them is 200 rand. Okay. You are buying uh, maybe uh, papaya. Okay. Seven. You want to do fruit juice. And you are buying this one at uh, 820 rand. Are you there? Yes, I'm there, sir. Okay. So how do we calculate the total here? Remember, equals to this, right? Multiplied by this. Are we correct? Yes. And then I press enter. I have my answer. Okay. Then I can grab this dot to auto calculate. I'll drag it down. So I don't need to do the other one, one by one. Okay. So this yeah. is what it's going to give me. Let me highlight this. Let me go to border and apply all border so that it can look like this. Let me just bolt the heading as well. Okay, fine. So now the answer that we got here is as a result of what? Of multiplying the two. Multiplying what two? Seven one thousand seven hundred and fifty is the is what the... is the cell address of what we multiply? That's what I would expect you to talk to me about, not the value. It's e one thousand. Just look up. You don't need to cram or look. You always look at your address bar. Look at it at the formula bar at the it's top. E seven times F seven. Yeah, always look up if you want to know what formula is used to produce something. You look up. Okay, what about here? We got this one by multiplying what? E8 times F8. What about this? E9 times F9. Thank you. What that means is that every time the cell address that contains the formula changes, also the value that produces the answer also changes, right? Because this yeah. one is E7, F7. This one is E8, F8. So that is relative, meaning that the answer you got here is relative to these two cells. Yeah. The answer you got here is relative to these two cells, not the cell above it. The answer you got here is also relative to two other different cells. That okay. is relative cell reference. Okay. okay. Now, yes. Let me now explain absolute. That one is a little bit technical. So you pay attention. Okay. Now, when it comes to absolute, it means that one of the value here is constant. One of these, either E7 or F7, is not changing. Even though you are changing the cell that contains the answer, you notice that one is not changing. And we okay. usually use absolute reference when you are dealing with a constant value. For example, okay. If you need to send money to me in Nigeria from South Africa, you know, yes. you must know what exchange rate is all about. 
Yes. Right? That yes. exchange rate is not like a constant value. Now, yes. let's do it like this for a better understanding. Let's say you want to buy uh, some item in Nigeria. Let me call it, maybe you're buying shoe. And then uh, the value, you are in South Africa and then you need to pay in Nigeria. Let me even say you are registering for training, data analysis training. Okay. And then uh, I'm saying that uh, amount. Okay. And then you needed to know what amount is going to be in a rand in South Africa. Oh, imagine this. It's changing this to what for me. I don't know what to do. Let me do rand. So now, the first thing I need to know, what is the exchange rate uh, between Naira and Rand, right? I need to know. Yes. So you will now keep the exchange rate in one cell, separate cell. So let's assume, what's the exchange rate? Can you Google it? Uh, the changing rate right now. Yeah, how much is it? Naira. Naira to Rand, and Naira to... Naira to rent, it's saying one Nigerian Naira is equal to 0 0.010. Okay, let's just do 0 0.010 here, 0 0.010, right? Which yes. is like 0 0.01. Let's just make it like 0 0.09, 0 0.09. Let's do it in 0 0.9. Okay, forget about whatever it is. Yes. Okay. In this case now, this one is constant, okay? Let's say the item, uh, the first item is a, uh, maybe I said is a uh, 200, the other one is a uh, 400, the other one is 800, okay? Now, you need to convert this to rand, and it means you'll be multiplying this with this, right? This is a yes. constant. You also need to multiply this with this. You also yes. need to multiply this with this. That is yes. what we mean by absolute. Anytime you are multiplying different value with a single value that is constant, that is, you are going to use absolute reference method. Okay? For example, yes. if I have weights, I'm going to tell you how to do it, but let's just say we have, I'm giving an example of when we use it, weight. The weight in, uh, somebody has a weight in kg. And then you need to convert that weight to pounds, okay? To LS, pounds is LS. So you want to check the weight in pounds. You want to convert it. You already have the weight in kg. So that means you must know the conversion rates, right? Yes. From kg to LS. Let's say maybe the conversion is uh, uh, 0 0.9. Let me put it here. 0 0.087, if that is the conversion rate. So this is going to be constant, and then somebody weighing uh, 25 kg, weighing uh, 50 kg, weighing 35 kg, weighing 40 kg, you now need to convert it to pounds or to gram. So it means you'll be multiplying this with this constant. This will multiply with this constant. This will, So anytime you have a value, that is constant, and you need to use it to multiply other values that are variable, that are not constant. In that case, you are going to use absolute reference. How do you do that? This constant value, you first of all ask yourself, what's the address of the constant value? So what's the address of the constant value in this case now? H12. Thank you, H12. So when you are going to do your calculation here, you are not going to say E13 multiplied by H12. No, you will change the, you will put a dollar sign before the H, a dollar sign before 12, a dollar okay. sign before the column, a dollar sign before the row number. The column is H, the row number is 12. So you use a dollar sign to designate. 
that will indicate to exe that the value is constant. Okay. okay. So what yeah. I'm going to do here now is that I will do equals to this multiply by dollar uh dollar h then dollar sign 12. You can see this is selected. Yeah, okay. okay. Did you get yeah. a dollar H, dollar 12? Then I'll press enter. So it's giving me 180 for this. So when I drag this one down, then you will see something now. Now let's look at this. Let's look at the address bar. E13 multiplied by dollar H, dollar 12. Is that correct? Yes. Now, what about this? E14 times dollar H times... Dollar H, dollar 12. What about this? E equals to E15 times dollar H, dollar 12. You can see, unlike this, that as we are changing, everything is changing. This one, H, this value does not change. Yes. You can see, it, it is locked because of that dollar before the colon, dollar before the row number that we put there. So that is what you mean by absolute reference. Okay. Is that clear now? Yes, it is. So tell me why you're going to solve this one. Mm -hmm. How? How we're going to how we're going to solve this one? Yes, the constant value is here, and then we need to use it to multiply all of these so that we can convert the kilogram to pounds. That is M12. Let's see. Yes, M. Tell me what yes, to do. M12. Okay, equals to. Okay, that's M12. Yeah, it's on M12. That's correct. So, what are we going to do? We see. What will I do to M12? Now I know where the constant value, the cell address. So, what will I do to M12? No, we have to multiply. Multiply what? What did I tell you about when you have a constant value? It's the dollar. You told me about exactly. the dollar sign. Then you do equals to this. Instead of saying multiply by M12, then you start with dollar sign M dollar sign 12. Okay. Is that clear? Yes. So that's all. If this value happen to be uh here, let's say it's here and then zero. Point. So dollar m. So dollar m dollar. It 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 shows that the zero zero point zero eight seven is constant. Yeah, it, it shows that it's constant. That it's not going to be changing when you drag down. Okay. It's going to if you don't oh. use the dollar sign, when you drag down, this one, it will change to this, it will change to that. You know all of this means nothing. So you are going to get zero for every other one. Okay. That's the reason. It shows that it's a constant. It's not the dollar for currency. It just, in this case now, is indicating that the cell address you are making reference to is a constant value. It's constant. It, okay. Yeah, it's not going to be changing. So okay. anytime you are working in Excel that they give you and it could be any value. It doesn't mean it doesn't and needs to be exchange rate. It doesn't mean uh needs to be a uh, kilogram to whatever pounds. It could be a value they told you you are being told that this value is not going to change. It's a constant value. For example, if you work in an office and they said oh employee we have 50 employee we are going to at the end of this year we are going to add uh 1,000 rand because of economy to everybody's salary or 10,000 rand. Okay, what is going to be the new salary of all the employee? In this case now, 10,000 rand is constant because it will be applied to every employee. Yes. yes so sorry. if you now have uh, like employee that's up to 1,000 and you need to now calculate their new salary, if they have old salary, in order to be able to do that, you will need anywhere you put the $10,000 bonus 
or salary increase, then you use dollar sign before the colon like this one, and this is N9. If the value is here, then you, you are going to say dollar M, dollar nine when you are doing the multiplication. Is that clear? Okay. Yeah, very clear. So okay, I did that, get that, that's that's great. That is the absolute really exactly. That, that is absolute what absolute yeah, absolute reference is all about. Exactly. Okay. Okay. Yeah, okay. yeah that's absolute reference. So usually those are the two references you are going to be seeing in Excel when you are working. Okay. Oh, okay. Uh, absolute oh. relative. The normal one is relative. This oh, one okay. is now absolute. Okay. All right. Okay. So, so we're not gonna deal with the mixed references. Yeah, 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 yeah. Depending on the situation you are working on. Okay. So that's okay. fine. And I will send you exercise as well. And then uh, probably in the next class we might definitely finish up with exam in our next class. Okay. Oh. Thank you for watching. This is how we do it at Flourish ICT Academy Masters class, where uh, the student will have the opportunity of one-on-one -on -one and live class with the instructor and able to review assignment exercise given as well. So if you'd like to subscribe to any of our master's class, either for cyber security, data analytics, or even computer training for beginners, Microsoft Excel, whichever, look at the description section of this video. You are going to see the link to our website where you will see all the details. At the same time, you can just look up on the screen right now and then you see the phone number display, the WhatsApp number. You can reach out via that contact for any inquiry or counsel regarding ICT training. We'll be glad to help you realize and achieve your career goal uh, thank you once again and see you in the next class.